Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Big Hair Rocks Hairspray. Look at this packaging, isn't it cute? It really is a cute looking bottle. But I'm going to tell you the truth about this product and just because it's a cute bottle doesn't mean you should buy everything that looks super cute. Um, This is not a good product to me. I would review it actually a 1 out of 10 just because it's too sticky, it's too strong for me. Um, I like hairspray that doesn't make my hair feel like a rock necessarily and I feel like most people will tend to be that way too, at least I'd hope so. And I've actually used this product and you can actually, well no you can't, but it leaves a clear residue on your hair and it is noticeable. I've gone out in public and well at school and one of my friends was like, yeah, you can see your hairspray on your hair. And I was like, oh my God, I need to be using a different type of hairspray. Now, a good hairspray I recommend is any Paul Mitchell hairspray. Their hairsprays are amazing. They smell good. They're not sticky. Um, they're amazing. I've never had a hairspray that actually smells good until I went to cosmetology school and I was literally blown away. I was like, oh my god, I need this in my life. But, um, I just wanted to tell you guys not to get this product just because it's really cute and the packaging, I mean, the packaging is super cute, like, it has little diamonds on it, but, uh, Mega Volume Super Firm Hairspray, it's completely full because, like, I've used it twice and I hated it. So, I just wanted to stop some of you guys from buying crappy hairsprays. This one is crappy. Do not buy it. My personal opinion, if unless you like your hair to have residue on it and be hard as a rock. Um, I hope you guys um, like my video and subscribe to this if it was helpful in any way. Just some do's and don'ts. You know, I want you guys to get the best products. I want you guys to not waste your money. So I hope this was helpful in any way. Um, thanks.